What's up, everyone? Welcome back. Kitsch here. We are in episode one, officially now, in Woodland Acres. I'm going to keep calling it that for now until that name changes, but uh, might just stick. Uh, working on this area of the park here today, uh, finally getting into some proper building and build episodes. Uh, we're going to have a time lapse today, uh, and we'll do a progress update at the end. So this area is going to be its own little sub-theme in the park. Uh, pretty much bordered by the coaster here. Uh, we're gonna have a lighthouse, we're gonna have some trees, some rocks, some sort of New England vibe, if you will, although we'll save the references to any ocean and we'll keep it uh, focused more on a muddy pond vibe as as we have here. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going for kind of a lakeside, um, kind of cute, vintage, uh, it'll be a little bit of a unique style of architecture for me to try out the builds. Uh, but to start, we're gonna jump into a time-lapse of this bridge here. Um, and I'm just gonna let some music play, let you guys sit back and enjoy that. And then I'll check back in with the first fi uh, finished update in this area after that time-lapse, so enjoy.
Welcome back everyone, and here we are at the bridge that you just saw completed in that time lapse, minus a few benches and trash bins that I've added since. Uh, and ready for the first official update here, as you can see kinda in the background behind the bridge supports there, we have a little something peeking up in the distance there. Uh, so that's what we're gonna get to here shortly. Uh, first, I wanna draw attention over here we have a car ride it has made its way into the park. I've been toying around with wanting to do a car ride for quite a while now after seeing a lot of other content creators. Car rides seem to be the, the craze right now. Uh, in my mind, it seems like I've seen a lot of people doing car rides. And I think this area is going to be perfect for one because we've got sort of that vintage theme. Really, this whole park is set up perfectly for a ride like this. Uh, especially in this area of the park, we have an old style coaster. It makes sense to me to have an old style ride to kind of add to that historical context. So really excited to start detailing this one out and really filling out this whole area with uh, foliage and uh, some, you know, a covered bridge or something there. Um, this coaster is going to be custom supported. I don't think this is what it's going to look like uh, in the final product. But anyway, let's get into the actual update here as we walk across the bridge and just take in some of these views of Shady Pier across the way there in the wooden coaster. Um, added a few bits of vines and foliage on this to, to really bring out that nature feeling, but the idea here was uh, to go for a sort of a railroad style, like kind of metal tones uh, industrial feeling uh, bridge maybe there, this served as a railroad bridge at some point in time in the history of the park who knows but that's kind of that's kind of the vibe I was going for and I thought I thought it worked out pretty well in the end really simple build only had a few few pieces in it um, just duplicated all over the place essentially so as we come into the main plaza here this will be obviously fleshed out quite a bit in the future episode we got space for a building over here we've got sort of a large corner building right here that i've got blocked out with those beams and then the car ride will sit nicely right here in this corner a um, little bit close on the car ride to the bridge there we'll probably have to add some sort of barrier or fence or something to prevent unwanted inter interaction uh, from people on this bridge with the car ride but this is sort of the first big element that draws your eye uh heavily heavily inspired by uh, demon at six flags great america classic looper uh, i think it's the second loop goes through a a rock arch just like this um so that was kind of the idea here and i wanted to pretty much replicate that except add a little more of a nature natural flair to it so i will have to be careful in the sight line here as we come across the bridge um, whatever building goes here I don't want to block the sight line too bad but uh, that'll be a problem for another day so our focus on this episode is going to be up here as we come up this walkway I did showcase before we get too into the meat and bones here uh, I did showcase this briefly in the park tour in episode zero uh, I made this little dip in dots this is all just custom uh, shapes and and bits from the studios pack and I, there's a couple TMTK things in here such as this nice cash register um, I'll have to see I think inside here we've got whoop, uh, of course in Tejit cam hold on hard cut incoming yeah this fire extinguisher that chair that outlets just some small TMTK details that make it come alive a little bit more uh, even we've even got the dip and dots uh, represented here in this in this little ice cooler uh, with this is one of my favorite tricks is to use this emergency light uh, as sort of a stacked cups I uh, use that in a few places in the park so yeah we got a couple media screens here with just with some dip and dot signs and we've got uh, some flavors on the back here cotton candy being my personal favorite this is sort of the main uh, weenie of this area of the park if you will uh, is this lighthouse up here in the in the at what we call Nautica Point? Uh, so, general uh, theme I think of the whole area is 
pretty pretty clear just from this this point alone so we're going for sort of a kind of a rustic lakeside uh you know a lot of wood stone textures pretty similar stuff to what you're gonna we're seeing in the park as a whole that's a really nice view of the swing ride there through the loop the wooden coaster uh but yeah so it i think this turned out really nicely i wasn't sure what to do with this little plot of land uh up here and i finally decided to just throw the smallest flat ride we have in the game and it actually kind of came together pretty nicely it I was a little worried about the pathing, uh, but actually worked out pretty well. I do need to fix this entrance area, cover that up, and add a sign. Uh, I'm not really sure on the name. I want to keep it simple. If you have any ideas, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll come up with something and just share that in a future episode. Uh, but yeah, as we move over to Nautica Point here, we have the, the path divider. I tried to make the little N logo for the the uh, restaurant kind of serve as the way to divide where I have two different path textures coming together. And I think it's pretty subtle, almost not noticeable, which is exactly what I wanted it to look like. Um, some, so I took here some custom, uh, those TMTK chairs that I showed from the, the Dippin' Dots, and I took the Hydro Beams and just basically rebuilt the TMTK uh, Ikea chair out of hydro beams so that I could recolor it. So that, that's what we got going on over here. A uh, little menu there out front and like I said in the last episode we're not doing any interiors so this is kind of where the tour ends of this building. Um, we'll keep that to the imagination but I do have to put a toilet in there to, uh, in the game to get people to walk through that door. Uh, but yeah, so this would be just like your a nicer restaurant in the park kind of tucked away here that you could get a reservation for um, Think like Mythos at Islands of Adventure or um, many others just in those high-budget parks uh, This would be something they've repurposed into something like that Just like a nicer restaurant that you could sit and eat and take a break from the action of the park some really nice views across the way across the water here of Shady Pier I really like that shot through the tree and yeah and of course the sounds of the coaster ripping through they must they would have imagine I imagine some pretty good acoustic insulation on this building to keep those sounds out uh, but yeah so coaster rips through the double loops here and actually passes in a tunnel right below this which goes underneath this ride and if I come back over here oh, and I gotta take a look at this awesome shot of the double corkscrew. I'm definitely going to preserve that sight line uh, as we flesh that area out. But if I come back down here, you can get a good view of the two tunnel entrances through a couple vines in there, some fog, just to kind of make it look a little more obstructed, a little blocked off as the so you're not just staring into concrete walls. And I think that effect works pretty nicely here. And some other TMTK items to note and give shout out to is these amazing cattails uh, reeds, just the perfect for this use. Um, I tried to use them as sparingly as I could because they are easy to want to go overboard with. Uh, so yeah, the other thing I want to point out is I did do some custom supporting on these loops with these hydro beams. Uh, this was basically a total ripoff of. Demon at Six Flags, as I mentioned, they've they've got these supports like ladder rungs that go up the the support beam and then actually over the um, track itself. And I'm not entirely sure why, like what they would need to get up there for. If it would be like for painting or some other maintenance work. I it, what I found is I didn't see this on every classic looper, uh, only on on some. So I'm not sure what the basis of when they need it and when they don't is, but it's pretty cool, I think. So <laughs> I added it here uh, just just because it adds that extra little touch of realism that I think just makes the build feel a lot more real and detailed than uh, it would otherwise. So so that's, that's pretty much all we've got today to show off. Um, I'll end with some cinematics here, but last thing I want to do before we jump to that is 
give a couple views of the lighthouse and coaster from across the lake here. Just wanted to showcase that view. It's coming together really nicely. Uh, so in the next episode, we will probably be working on the car ride uh, and kind of fleshing that out as much as we can, um, as well as this plaza sort of working our way back towards the coaster. I think the coaster station might be uh, in a later episode. One of the last things we do, just because I want to kind of get a palette for the buildings and stuff a little more fleshed out before uh, I finalize what that's going to look like, because that is going to be sort of the statement building in the back of the area, um, aside from the lighthouse, of course. So that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks, everyone, for sticking around and and giving it a watch. Uh, of course, do the usual, you know, subscribe if you want to keep up with this content. I'm not going to have a regimented release schedule, so definitely hit that subscribe button so you know right away when a new episode comes out. Um, and yeah, give it a like if you think it deserves it. So take care, everyone. Have a good one. We will see you in the next one.